I share with you. I have been eating this all week for lunch. I'm making tequila lime fish tacos. And I, these are super fast. Like they take me less than 15 minutes every time I make them. And I found you don't even have to use tequila. So if you're alcohol free, you're fine. Let's see if I can make my cabbage out of here. I like to make the cabbage go off of this. Let's see. Do, do, yes. All right, so. I came up with this recipe like a week or two ago. I was um, I was watching Speed and Sparrow Homestead. She was doing this video. I'll try to find it, link it below. She was doing this video about things she eats on a day on the homestead, which intrigued me because if you're gardening or homesteading, you have all this produce coming in, and you're like, how can I just? I mean, you're canning and preserving and all that, but how can I also just incorporate it into my all day long meals? And she showed this seasoning she used from a sample packet, which I have here. Um, and I had never heard of these. They're called Feast Mode Flavors. And she got this sample pack, which is actually free, just pay shipping. And so I ordered it because it intrigued me. And when it came, there's a lot in here, guys. Oh, I just made this. These are like tablespoonish samples. They're a pretty good size. When it came, I opened it and started testing them and like I was tasting just one after the other and being like, ooh, I would do this with that, ooh, I would do this with that. And they were so good. So I ended up contacting them and asking them, saying, hey, I have a food blog and a YouTube channel and I have recently discovered your seasonings and I love them. Would you want to partner or collab with me on this? And they said yes, which kind of shocked me, I'll be honest. And so one of the first things I made, I made a mess here. One of the first things I made were these um, fish tacos because the second I tasted this tequila lime seasoning, I was like fish tacos right there. And I'm also actually gonna use the mango habanero in this like as a little topper sprinkle. It makes a difference, trust me. So I am starting with just, let me get tortillas too. Starting with just one filet of tilapia because I am just making lunch for myself today. But you can do however much you need to for your family. And all I'm going to do is get this um, just in a skillet with some butter and some olive oil because I like the taste of butter with fish. I like the richness, but olive oil has a, a higher smoke point, so it can cook better. And I'm just going to toss it in the tequila lime seasoning. So you'll see how fast this comes together. Let me take you over to the stove. Okay, so I'm actually going to get two, two skillets out here, one for the fish and one for my tortillas. And I'm going to get a knife for butter. So just a little bit of butter melting in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil. You could also use avocado oil or whatever your favorite one is and this is really as simple as just cooking this in the oil butter mixture along with the seasoning that's all that's all i'm doing here until the fish is done and it's so good that way these seasonings they have sweet and savory they are so good and i have been using them like just experimenting all week long um let me get my seasoning over here I do like the liberal amount because I like a lot of flavor on my food. And I'm going to actually start this flipped over because I want it seasoned on both sides here. I don't want to tear it. This is kind of a thin filet. You can use whatever fish you want that you would normally use for fish tacos. I tend to use oh, any white fish, whatever is most convenient for me, tilapia, cod, anything like that. Okay, so that's gonna go in there and cook. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna make a cute, uh, quick um, cabbage slaw for it because that's how, that's how it is on tacos I used to love in Southern California at the little taquerias. They always have a cabbage slaw with it. All right, so, oh, that's not gonna take much time over there. 
and then a knife. I slice mine really thin. All that I'm putting in here is cabbage, cilantro, onion, and lime juice. And I'll put a little salt in here as well. Um, you can add, I use, sometimes if I have them on hand, I'll do some small, like really thin cuts of radish. Just don't have that today. But I'm making this fairly thin. And I kind of like my pieces a little bit shorter. And this is all to taste. I don't really have measurements. I'll come up with measurements and I'll put them in a printable recipe on my blog and link it below. Also linked below will be a, a link for the seasonings if you are interested in those. Um, it is an affiliate link, but you can get 10% uh, off using the code All Things Alicia on that link. But these are so worth it. They're so good. The seasonings, all of them. I've tried them. I've done a million things already. I've done, um, there's a caramel apple one that I have mixed with, uh, I mixed it with cream cheese, with cream cheese and used like graham cracker dippers. I made it like a dip, that was really good. I did a chicken that I just did the same kind of thing like um, olive oil and butter, but I coated it with this one that was called, I think it's called kitchen herb seasoning and just kind of rub that all around and I baked it in the oven, it was so good. All right, so this is pretty much done and ready. I'm gonna put some salt on it and I'm also gonna turn my fish over over here. Take you back to the stove. This is ready to turn. There we go. So I'm just done, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep it this skillet. Well, let's see and get a little salt on the slaw. And just mix it really well. It's, it's a simple thing. When I go to like real Mexican restaurants, even down in Mexico, it's just it's a simple little cabbage slaw on top. But it's so good. That's about done. I'm turn that off. Is that my choice is? Okay. I'm using corn tortilla, white corn tortillas. I like the texture for this. You can use flour or regular corn if you want. I'm putting some avocado oil. I'm not trying to fry this and make a hard shell though. You can if you want. I just want it a little bit, I want it softened. I want it to have a little bit of a cooked, um, like browning, a little bit of browning, but I don't want it stiff and crunchy like a hard taco shell. So that's just gonna be the time that it takes to flip that. It's already good. Okay. This I turned off, and I'm just going to flake it apart. Mm -hmm. So much flavor. And it totally simplifies everything. You just have all these seasonings mixed together for you already. And they're pretty clean ingredients, too. And if you're low carb, they totally fit that. This was actually invented by, I think it's like a fitness company. They wanted seasonings that were okay for people that were on um, like heavy fitness, macro, whatever diets. Okay, I have that all chunked up and ready for the taco. Turn my tortilla here. Okay, and assembly wise, all there is to do is get a little bit of fish on there, a little bit of slaw, let me put this pan down. Make sure my cilantro is distributed throughout, a little bit of slaw on top and we're good to go. Mm. I forgot. The second time I did this, I added this on top because I was like, maybe I wanna make mango habanero tacos and I couldn't decide and I decided that this actually made like a good little sprinkle 
this has like a sweet spicy thing to it what adds it plays really well just trust me on this you gotta have them both and then, then we end up with our fish taco done like less than 15 minutes seriously so fast and so good mm. i don't know when i'm gonna try these i might make them every day for like a month Mm. So good. If you want to try the feast mode flavors, don't forget there's a link at the bottom in the description box. You can also get the sample pack. It is really worth it. All you pay is shipping for that. I hope you try these because these are a must do.